Hi, I'm Mary Valamese. I'm going to share with you the first grade six six weeks curriculum preview for math. Here are the big ideas for this six weeks. We're going to finish telling time, go over data, personal financial literacy, transition to second grade, and review addition and subtraction facts for only one day. So unit A, telling time to the hour and half hour is going to take six days. Here's a glimpse of what a cal your calendar may look like at this time. Notice anything highlighted like green is what you're going to be covering as you tell time to the hour and half hour. When This is a new concept. Kindergartners did not learn this before. So you're going to be talking to the kids about what is, what is it closer to, the hour or the half hour, such as if you have 127, is it closer to 130 or 1 o'clock? Then also you're going to be comparing the location of the minute hand as it falls between 12 and 6, such as in this particular example, when it's talking about 1010, you can ask the kids, is this hand closer to the 12, which is 10 o'clock, or would it be closer to the 6, which would make it 1030? Also, they're using 30 minutes as an indicator of a half hour is another thing you'll be talking about, especially since first graders understand halves. And use your Judy clocks for your manipulative to have the students have it as well as you to talk about time. Here's, there's a computer game called Primary Games. The only downside is there's a lot of ads on this page. And then also telling time computer game, which is also available. On the, with this uh, link. Then you'll start Unit 9, Data. Notice again it's highlighted green. You'll be doing this for about nine days. In kindergarten with K.8b, the students used data to create real object and picture graphs, but with only two categories and there were no tally marks. This is all that they covered. But now in first grade, you're going to extend that to three categories. And then also, they're going to not only collect and sort data, but they're going to organize data in these three categories. And they're going to be using tally marks for the first time. Here's an activity where the kids can survey. You can use this as a, a workstation where the kids survey the other kids for three different categories, such as what's your favorite ice cream? Is it chocolate, vanilla, strawberry? And then having asking each child and having and then as they ask them, they'll write their name in each category. Now they they need to organize this information, and they will do that by creating a tally chart, or they can do a bar graph, or they can do a, a pictograph. So you you see that we have different examples of graphs that they can use. Now bar graphs are familiar to kindergartners. They know about bar graphs. They, they know about picture and pictographs. It's just telling marks and having uh, collecting the names. That was something that will be new to them. 1.8c, draw conclusions and generate and answer questions using information from picture and bar type graphs. The kids did this in kindergarten. They did draw conclusions. But what's new about this text is the students will also be generating and answering questions using this information from picture and bar type graphs. So they need to make their own questions. Unit 10, Personal Financial Literacy, will be in about toward, towards the end of the six weeks. And as you can see, it highlighted in green. 1.9a says define money earned as income. In kindergarten, they identified the money that was income. In 1.9b, you identify income as a means of obtaining goods and services, oftentimes making choices between wants and needs. In kindergarten, they, kids did learn the difference between wants and needs. However, they did not identify income as a means of obtaining goods and services. 1.9c, distinguish between spending and saving. This is new. And 1.9d, consider charitable giving. That's also new. There's a video called Cha-Ching that's available for you. Now, personal financial literacy. Um, here, there's four lessons, actually three lessons that are available that you can use with the texts that are described here. It's all in Edge of And in 1.9D, here are some 
ways that people share either their possessions, their skills, or their time for 1.9D. And you can ask the kids, what, what is something you can do? You can donate your clothes. You know, here you can help with chores. You know, so these are some things that the kids can have a list to choose from. Vocabulary. Notice we have a lot of review words under vocabulary. But then if you look under new, charitable giving, charity, minute, minute hand, these are all new words for them. Here's a little game you might want to try with the kids. It's almost like a pictograph. Pictionary, I'm sorry. Okay, unit 11, the kids are going to be transitioning to second grade. So notice we only have a few days for this particular part. So we have just a few uh, things to do. 2.4a is to recall basic facts to add and subtract within 20 with automaticity. Now we know in first and second grade, the kids are recalling basic facts. They are learning to add and subtract. So all we're doing here is practicing those strategies again. The counting on, decom decomposing a number leading to a 10, using the relationship between addition and subtraction, and maybe even creating an easier problem. Some resources available are Station Salute, What's the Difference, and then 2.2a and 2.2b is another other two texts that I like for you to go over with the kids. Here is where they expand the form, such as 951, into those words, 951. It could be written as, uh, here we have the standard form, and also we have written in words, and then the expanded form, 900 plus 50 plus 1. There's a game you can play with the kids called Will the Real Place Now You Please Stand Up and Build a Bunny House. So your pacing guide for Unit 11 looks like this, similar as last year. Thank you and have a good rest of the year. Bye.